in Cayenne, we were able to see the ruins of a castle, which was once controlled by William the Conqueror. And even though some of the buildings were run down, it was still really neat to see how most of the castle had actually stood the test of time. And it, we, even though it was raining, we were still able to explore all the grounds and go into different museums and learn all about um, William the Conqueror's life and things that were going on at that time. And it was interesting to imagine what would have happened at that castle during his time. We went outside for a little bit on one of the walls and got to look out over Cayenne and we saw one of the churches in Cayenne and um, it was actually kind of neat because there was a lightning storm in the distance which made it even a more amazing experience. It was really cool to see from up there. So we were in the town of Baia, where we saw the Baia Tapestry, and I didn't really know what to expect. Dr. Seneca had shown us a piece of the tapestry, and it had the Halley's Comet, and they were pointing with their left hands, and left means bad, ominous, evil is coming. So seeing it for the first time was amazing, and we had the audio guides, which took us through each scene, and that was great because it broke things down, and it explained all the intricate details, and it was interesting because the tapestry she had a little scene on a strip on the top with things going on, a strip on the bottom, and then the main events were happening in the middle. The tapestry itself was very detailed and it told the story of the Battle of Hastings in 1066. It was told mostly through pictures and very few words because most of the population was illiterate. And it was also displayed in the Bayou Cathedral for people to learn from it. Um, it told about when King Edward of England died, there was a dispute over um, who would inherit the throne. Um, it was between Harold and William the Conqueror, and it was promised to William the Conqueror, but then Harold went back on his word and took the throne. So um, the Normans and the Saxons were in a battle, and William the Conqueror actually ended up winning, and that's how he got the name of William the Conqueror. We're at Mont Saint Michel right now. We're standing on the terrace and just look at this view. I don't think it was what any of us were expecting when we heard about it. I was expecting it just to be a castle or a church, a cathedral like we've seen before. But everyone's eyes kind of lit up, I think, when the bus arrived at it and we see this castle that's like its own island and it's just this massive fortress with um, all different kinds. It was built for many different purposes. So it had a monastery and it was really cool. We sat and watched a religious service going on in it and it was really neat to see that. As we got closer, you could see all the details and the, the elaborate 
architecture that went into it. And I, I find it really interesting that um, sh structures like that could be created before modern technology because I, a lot of us don't really assume that that's such a beautiful uh, building could be created, you know, in the Middle Ages, but it was absolutely breathtaking. And their, their views from certain points in the monastery were really, really great. And you could look over into the, see all the water and see the, the sand and um, the cathedrals itself with the stained glass and the Roman architecture were really, really pretty.